Exactly. So, hello everybody, I'm Anne, and uh, I'm a mathematician. And today I'm going to answer this simple question, what is mathematics? And I suppose to a lot of people in the audience, the answer is already very clear. Or not. I measure the angles and I make 
great sum. And what happens now is that this will be smaller than 180. Can be any number, but smaller than 180. Can even be zero. So you can't draw in hyperbolic geometry, you can't draw a triangle where the sum of the angles is zero degrees. Come on, that's awesome, no? <laughs> and so the, well, the strange thing about this is that if you work in hyperbolic geometry, such as I do, things get really massive. You have to really pay attention because things you were used to do from high school or even primary school, they are wrong suddenly. And so if you work in this, you always have to pay attention if the things are still true. It's kind of a mess. So you might wonder about why. Why did you really ask them this what if question? Everything was fine. Why did you mess it up? But that's what mathematicians do. That's the thing. I'll give you another example. Let's go back even further. When uh, people only had the natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. They had them, they knew them, they were calculating with them, everything was fine. Until he came along this Indian mathematician. And he said, What if I put a minus in front of every number and I transform it into minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, etc.? And again, he invented the negative numbers and things were messy. It's harder to calculate with that than with the natural numbers. But now you might think, okay, now I was just talking crazy. Because, okay, maybe negative numbers were messy in the beginning, but they are kind of useful. In winter, if the temperature goes below zero, we need that. If we go down with the lift, we need that. <laughs> if I spend too much money, we need that. So, negative numbers, maybe they were messy, but come on, they are useful. It's not hyperbolic geometry. But what well, if I tell you that hyperbolic geometry is useful too? In fact, if you look at corals, in the sea, so in coral, really, if you look at corals, they have a hyperbolic shape. So, corals are hyperbolically shaped. If you take a coral and you would draw a triangle on it, don't do it, please, because you are not allowed to do this, but if you do it, and you would measure the angles and do the sum, this would be smaller than 180 because the coral is hyperbolic. Or, something you know better, Pringle chips. <laughs> Pringle chips are hyperbolic. And this is not just because this is cool, but actually the hyperbolic shape gives them an extra crunchiness. And this is mathematically engineering at the best. They study that if you shape the, the chips hyperbolically, then you get them more crunchier than other chips. Well, this guy here, Shannon Cooper, from the Big Bang Theory, he works in modern physics. And there's a part of modern physics that only works if we suppose that the universe is hyperbolic. Okay? So this hyperbolic geometry, which seemed messy in the beginning, and this is actually quite useful if you want to study corals, if you want to produce extra quantity chips, <laughs> or if you want to describe the universe, you need it. And so now to come back to my question from the beginning, what is mathematics? Honestly, I, I would say it's neither science nor philosophy. For me, mathematics is more like science. <laughs> it screws up a stable situation, 